Hello everyone. My gosh, it has been a really long time since I've sat and spoken to my phone, but really to all of you. I don't really know how to start this video because the last month or so has contained about four billion different kinds of events and feelings. Some really big shit has happened. Um, some really big fucking awful shit has happened. First we saw queer and trans people, specifically Latinx queer and trans people targeted at a nightclub in Orlando. We lost 49 people and I'm sitting here speaking to you now and saying those words, but I couldn't even speak them when it happened. I couldn't make a video for you all and I'm sorry that I didn't have that presence and that I didn't say, hey, I'm here with you because at that time, the only thing that was helping me get through and I'm sure most of you was surrounding myself with queer community um, and people who I knew and loved and people who I knew I didn't have to explain myself to, um, people who I could just like make eye contact with and they knew that I was hurting and I knew that they were hurting. I put self-care first, um, which I do think is important and I do think is a, an important lesson to take away from that experience. Um, I needed to take care of myself and I'm sure a lot of you did too. What happened, I mean, there is, there are no words, right? And the next thing I'm about to talk about, I feel very similarly about it. There are no words. Um, we lost, we lost, we lost is a shitty way of putting it. Two men were killed by police officers, Alton Sterling and Philando Castile in the last week less than 24 hours apart from each other. In the last year alone, we know we've lost hundreds of people um, because of inherent racism, because of the fact that we all have particular ideas about particular people, and for some of us, those ideas inform actions that kill. I think I'm afraid talking about it. I'm afraid to talk about this right now because I have all the education in the world when it comes to talking about sexuality and gender. I have all the education in the world talking to you about those things. I feel pretty comfortable. Sure, I might fuck up sometimes, but you know what? Like I know a bunch, I've lived a bunch, I've learned a bunch. The biggest thing that I know here is just that this is fucked up and it has to stop. But my education around these issues and these conversations, around laws uh, in specific states as to what people can be arrested for and what the laws are around guns and all of that stuff, I don't know enough. I don't know enough at all. I have not participated enough in that process. And because of that, I'm afraid to talk because I don't know enough. What if I fuck up? What if I say the wrong thing? What if I do the wrong thing? But not talking is not the answer. Um, so I'm talking and I'm telling you that the events of the last couple of weeks have moved me to learn and learn and learn and learn and I am making a new commitment to learn from the books that I read, from the people that I speak to, from the articles that I click on and to take action based on that knowledge. And I know most of you know this, but I'm not doing that by calling my black friends. I'm not calling the people of color in my life and saying, hey, how do I do this? And that makes it hard. It makes it hard. But Fuck that, it's hard, and that's the point. It's hard, and I'm making the commitment, and I hope that if you are watching this, um, and you are a white person, like I am, that you also are making those commitments, that you are reading things, that you are finding lists. I'm gonna put a bunch of links down below that are starters, right? Starting things that you can read. People have put together incredible materials um, for people like you and I who might not know how to navigate these spaces and it's fucking time. It was time, right? Why am I screaming to you about this right now on July whatever, 2016? I should have been screaming this at everybody forever, um, but I'm screaming it now. I'm sorry for just yelling because it's not just about yelling. It's also about me saying that I care, that I hurt, that I'm here for you and that I hope to be able to be even better prepared to be here for you. I have to learn more. I've always known that. That sentence will literally never be untrue. We all need to keep learning and reading and immersing ourselves in these issues because we need each other first and foremost and we need to use each other to lean on so that we can make lasting change. I want to encourage you to talk below and let me know um, what you're feeling. Contribute to the resources. I'm going to put links below, but any resources you have to add to this conversation, whether it's specific to Orlando, whether it's specific to Black Lives Matter um, and the protests that are ongoing right now, please share below. That's why the internet can be great is because we can use these spaces to share information 
to share our feelings. Um, and I'll be in the comments talking back with you as much as possible. I hope that you all have beautiful weekends. <sighs> Thank you for listening.